Okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna apologize about that. Um, I'm just gonna re-go over everything because I'm not gonna edit it. So, I'm just gonna post this to our uh, YouTube right afterwards. So, th I'm going to actually recover some of the things that we've already gone over in the previous video. Okay, so I'm sorry for those who are viewing live, just bear with me. Uh, I do use this for more than just uh, the live, so there is that. So we're going to re-go over the different cards. Let me set them up. And... Actually, here's what I'll do is I'll go the other way. I'll go the reverse way. Okay? So I'll cover them from Red Jasper to Black Tourmaline. So again, like I said, hi everybody. This is your pick a card soulmate reading. Um, and what you'll be able to do is pick a card based off of which crystal resonates most with you. Um, I'm going to show you guys the card options. And you guys should be able to choose which card resonates with you. Okay, so these are the different card options that we have. Okay. So you have your Red Jasper, your Selenite, Amazonite, and Black Tourmaline. And after looking at each of these crystals, just choose the crystal that best resonates with your particular energy. Okay? So which crystal resonates with your particular energy? Okay? So that is the one that you want to choose. So I'm going to read them. From red jasper to black tourmaline, okay? And one, two, three. All right. So, what I'm going to do is start off with the red jasper stone, okay? So the red jasper stone, for the red jasper stone, we have four different cards coming out. I'm using the goddess deck, the uh, crystal deck, the past life deck, and the romance angels deck, okay? So let's see what's going on for red jasper. So for red jasper, we have the card Urakura, which is blossoming. We have the self-love card coming out, which is Kunzite. We have the angels card coming up in the past life. And we also have the soulmate card coming up, okay, inverted. And it says, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so for Red Jasper, the soulmate reading that we're getting here, what I'm looking at is somebody who's, again, deeply interconnected with their soulmate or their energy uh, uh, with the energy of this other person. This other person looks like it could be possibly a karmic soulmate or somebody who's here to, uh, give you insight into certain situations inside of your life. This person may not be someone who's a life partner or a potential life partner. This may be someone who you may have some issues with, uh, fully manifesting the, uh, physical part of the relationship with, okay? Um, but the self-love card comes up here and makes itself very prominent and very well known that this is the energy that you need to focus on. There's an energy that you need to focus on within yourself, within loving who you are, within being resonant inside of who you are, because Red Jasper comes in and it tells us about healthy boundaries. This card, this, uh, particular, 
um, stone right here is a very deeply spiritual stone, but it's also very grounding and very practical. So it's talking about really uh, clearing out old negative habits, clearing out all of the old energy that's dealing with um, the past. It helps you to uh, interconnect with your own spirituality. It's really deeply interconnected with that. So if you've chosen this card, even though you may not see it right now, there may be some situations that are going on on the surface that can kind of blind you from really being able to see the full potentiality of things that are going on. But the primary focus that you need to pull into is self-love because you need to be focusing on healing yourself, focusing on aligning yourself. Yes, this is a soulmate relationship. Yes, this is someone that you're connected to from a, a very deep energy. You guys have that energy. You guys guys have that exchange with each other there is a soul energy there there's a soul bond with this person but this person may not be in their highest self right now this relationship may not be reflecting to you necessarily the fullness or the totality of what you needed to reflect and so the energy that's being called to be focused upon at this particular time in your life is the self-healing part don't worry about the particular soulmate that's coming up not or that soulmate relationship that's making itself known, really focus back in on the self-healing and the self-love aspects because there are a lot of specific situations that are going to come up over the next maybe couple of weeks or the near future energy or may you may be presently in. There may be some feelings of stuckness. There may be some feelings like things aren't going your way, but trust me, underneath the surface, everything is moving according to plan. So continue to put in that healing work or that healing energy that you need to put in on yourself okay so that soulmate is there their energy is there but they're not the focus you're the focus so if you chose red jasper it's telling you focus back in on your own energy because that soulmate they may not be ready to handle all of the relationship that's necessary for you to have in a healthy way so don't necessarily tune in particularly just to them okay so next we have coming up is selenite now selenite is a really powerful stone this stone deals with uh clearing out old energies clearing the aura it can align meridian points it can help anything from plants growing to um helping to guard against violent acts it's a very deeply protective and immensely spiritual high vibrational stone and again like i said all of these crystals are available on geminiholistics.com for purchase go on over there use our uh 50 off code ancestral 888 for 50 off all purchases including crystals so we're we're looking at for selenite if you chose selenite okay as your crystal we're looking at again healthy boundaries we're looking at kyanite blue kyanite letting go and we're looking at the arts as well as reconciliation so whatever is going on what i see here in this particular cycle is you may be in a space where you are dealing with someone or you want to deal with someone who has a soulmate connection to you, who does have that energy or that innate connection. Your creativity might connect through some of, I mean, your energy might create through, uh, connect through some of the creativity that you share. You might have a creative flow inside of your energy. They may inspire you. They may uh, bring you to a space where you want to create, whether that be for good or for bad. A piece, everybody who's joining us here on the live um but this person needs to respect your boundaries they may not be in a space where they're fully uh acknowledging what it is that you need out the relationship so you're gonna have to do some letting go around certain bad habits you may even have to let go of the relationship for a period of time but the reconciliation card sits right here again someone from your past is returning into your life so this could mean that either you are in a space where you're looking at things from the perspective of just really focusing in on yourself healing old issues and you may see someone crop back up into your life or pop back into your life to make their presence and their awareness known so that you guys can reconcile and have some healing or 
find some uh, closure or maybe even reconcile the relationship or you may be having some uh, particular interaction with someone who you're currently dealing with. You're going to have to walk away from them temporarily and... But in the future, they will learn to respect you more as a person. And therefore, that leads to a reconciliation inside of the relationship. So if you chose the Lenite, that is the energy that is going on there for you. Okay? So Amazonite. Again, like I said, this is a very deeply emotional healing stone. And the reading that goes along with it is very uh, one of emotional healing as well. So if you chose Amazonite as your stone, there is a deep calling out to you as a healer. You have a calling on your life that you are a divine channel for healing energy. You have that ability. You have that power inside of you. And you're going to be called upon to step up into this healing energy because this relationship or this soulmate energy that you're dealing with is someone who is, yes, a very deep soulmate. This is someone who could possibly be a twin flame. This could be someone who you've been in relationship with in the past. This definitely looks like a past relationship, okay? Someone who you may not be dealing with anymore or are transitioning out of dealing with with this person. And because you have that healing energy to you, you're going to need to really channel that in, bring that in, do your meditation, do your yoga, do your uh, mantras, do your deep breathing, because that energy is going to be really necessary for you to access that higher, those higher circuits of your brain, that higher vibrational energy, opening up that third eye energy. So so that you can really come in and realign and heal through this relationship because there may be some healing that needs to take place for whatever reason there may be some healing that needs to take place from maybe traumas that you dealt with in this relationship or this relationship really not panning out the way that you wanted it or needed it to so really refocus back in on the fact that you are a healer, do not really focus too much on the negative parts of it. Just release and heal. Exhale. Exhale that energy because there's a lot of emotional healing that's going to take place. So if you chose Amazonite, you're looking at a more emotional healing journey of doing the inner work. Yes, there is a soulmate who you're deeply connected to. There's a twin flame who you're deeply connected to. And more than likely, this person has already manifested in your life. If this isn't a soulmate, this if this isn't a twin flame, this is a very deeply resonant soulmate. So whoever we're looking at here had a deep impact on you, had a deep impact on how you relate to the world, how you relate to different things. But they also activated a deep level of uh, healing energy inside of you and put it uh, may have ignited or put you on the path or added on to your healing abilities and your ability to heal others so make sure you're following that path of healing if you chose amazonite okay last but last not last but not least we're looking at black tourmaline now black tourmaline is a very powerful protective stone this stone is very good for protecting from everything uh including electromagnetic energy radiation all of that type of stuff all the way down into spiritual attacks and stuff like that it also helps with connecting into your ancestral realm so the ancestors often help to com can communicate easier so if you're looking to get in tune with your ancestors black tourmaline is one of the stones that you can use to connect with them okay so we're looking at black tourmaline for this part of the spread so we're looking at someone who is definitely go dealing with a soulmate you're dealing with probably a karmic soulmate because i see that a all three of these particular 
uh, parts of the spread are inverted. So we're looking at the lover's card or the soul connection, which is the soul, one of the soulmate cards for this particular deck, okay? Um, we're looking at spouse, which is coming up in the past lifetime deck. So this person has been interconnected with you. You may have been married to this person in a past life, or you may be uh, in relationship with this person now and you are in a very deeply committed space, but it's inverted. So I'm going to say that regardless of the nature of the relationship that you guys have right now, this person has a very karmic energy for you, okay? And then we also have new love, which is inverted. And it says a new person has third romantic feelings, but it's inverted. So this isn't a new person. This is someone who you've had interactions with before. You Even if you haven't had interactions with them before in this particular lifetime, you have a deep connection to this person because you married them or you were in a very committed relationship with this person in a past lifetime okay so the energy of nematoma comes up and it says that you need to connect into a sacred space or an altar space okay so there is some deeper energy work that needs to be done around healing this past karmic energy so karma healing work reiki can help with this um doing specific candle work on some of this past life energy um all of those particular things could be attributed back into this specific uh card right here so whatever it is is there's going to be some deeper inner work that has to be done some deeper healing work that has to be done around this past life relationship with this soulmate so this looks like a karmic soulmate you're gonna need to clear out this energy and really do some healing around them talk to your ancestors talk to your spirit guides around healing some of that particular energy okay so those are the uh, pick a card readings that we had. And again, like I said, all of these crystals are available up on our website, GeminiHolistics.com, available for purchase. And you can uh, further work with these, the energy of these stones if you felt drawn to them. Um, make sure you use the code Ancestral888, and that will give you 50% off any purchases go on over there if you need a more in-depth reading as well you can go on and book a personal reading personal soulmate reading that will give you more insight into that specific situation that you're dealing with with your soulmate and you can go ahead and book that as well at geminiholistics.com slash services just click the services tab then go down to relationship readings and it should be the classic soulmate which is available there as well and you can use that half off code on that as well so all of that energy is there so hopefully this reading helps a lot of you guys get some insight if you like the pick a card method let me know down below and we'll do some more pick a card um styled readings if you want me to go back to um doing the astrological signs or whatever um whatever you feel is going to work best with you i just want to be able to give you guys the most accurate readings possible i'm going to come back next week and do another weekly uh oracle reading as well as we'll do some more different work we can possibly do past life readings we could do more soulmate readings it's all up to you and it depends on what you guys want so let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see from um me and this whole channel if you're watching us on youtube don't forget to like this video you can like this video on facebook as well don't forget to share this video with people that you feel it will benefit um, and make sure that you guys, if you are watching on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe and like this video so that you can see more content like this coming up into your news feed and we'll be posting more videos as well on there. Okay, so, so much love. Um, oh yeah, quick, quick question. If you guys want to see me do some spell work or you guys want to see me do some ritual work, um, or give you guys some spells or different things like that. Let me know below too as well if you guys want to see some of that. 
some healing or some energy work. Um, and I can share some recipes and some methods with you guys on how to do that. Just different ideas, throwing it out there so, so you guys can see what it is that you want. All right. So love you guys so much. Peace and blessings and enjoy the rest of your day. I hope that everything that you do is filled with love. So much abundance, peace and joy. Okay. Peace. Bye-bye.